Hey guys, I'm gonna do a little short video tutorial for y'all again on how to do this other new type of print that we're doing for the illustrated dragon wall hanger thing. And so it's a single layer multicolor print, which is different than the Hue Forge prints that we did before. And, but you can still do them with the AMS multicolor system or with a single color printer. So I'm gonna show you how to set up and run both. So this is the 3MF bamboo file that is in y'all's zip file and you're going to open it up. I'm going to have both of them mirrored on two different plates and it's just going to look solid black but if you look underneath there is all your colors and if you click on them over here you have, let's go to your objects, the different items of the dragon have their different assigned colors. So you can go in here, change filament, to do white for whatever you have your AMS set up as for those colors that you want. And I wrote in the Patreon post what print settings you want to have for these guys, but let's see. Yeah, the 3MF should have those already in here as well. So first layer height is going to be 0.3 millimeters. That's important because these are like layered on top of each other in a very particular way so that you have that flat color print but then you also have the thickness to help support it on the wall. And then you're going to slice this guy and again we're still looking at it from underneath so you have that first layer with all your color points. That first layer and then it's going to go solid black for the rest of it so that way you have that thicker print without having to do multicolor throughout the whole thing. And now I'm going to show you how to do that if you don't have the Bamboo Studio AMS system. So when you go in here, you're going to upload one of the non-Bamboo files. I have them separated into left and right since I don't have two print plates on the single 3MF file. So I'm going to open up this guy and it's going to ask you since there are multiple parts in here, do you want to load it as a singular object? We're going to do no. But these objects should still all be arranged properly for you. And if you look over here, we still have all of those separate parts that we had in the colored one. So to print this with a single color printer, we're going to do some manual color swaps, but we're going to do that differently here than we did for the Hue Forge. So what you want to do is go over here, the lines and back plate is that whole black section plus your outlines here. And these parts where you see the other body parts, these lines are actually raised a little bit to where it'll let these shine through for that one layer, but then go print on top of it smoothly. So you wanna print this section last. So we're gonna hide that, which means it's gonna block it out. And then any of the other sections you want to do first, just pick that and go for it. So you'll want to hide all of the rest of those. And say you want to do this guy, just this main body layer first. We're going to not touch anything, just hide those. We're going to slice that. And then it's going to look like that. It's going to look kind of funny because we're going to have all these weird spots going on. But then we're going to go back to platter. That was the scale section, so then we're going to hide that, we're going to pick another section. This is the underbelly, so you're going to go in, manually change the color in your printer, keep that body segment that printed on your plate, don't touch it, leave it there, pick a different body part that you haven't done already, slice that, it's going to print that in to the spot on all next to the one that just went earlier. And you're going to do this for every piece. So then we're going to grab the wings and the membranes. We're going to print those. Just that single layer. And we'll go back here. And then again, you want to do that as lines last. That is because, if you look here, and then here we have all those lines and your door frame piece. And you see how all this blue means these are slight overhangs all here. That's because all of those other pieces are going to be under this. So these pieces are actually going to be supported by those previous color spots that we printed. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to send all this, this layer last, and it's going to fill in those gaps and then start printing on top of the layers that you already have there. And I got wonkiness going on here. If you turn on ironing, that will help all of that. But that is how you do that. And then you should have a final product that comes out looking very similar or pretty much exactly like the bamboo one. It's just going to be more manual work on your part. But this is how you do the single layer multicolor type thing with any printer and a lot of other print files use this type of thing too, especially light boxes and things like that. That's how they do that. And so yeah, hopefully that was helpful and let me know if y'all have any questions and I'll talk to y'all later.